Hi, in this video I will show you another way how to create a parallax scrolling background effect for your 2D game. Let's start from empty project and set it step by step, so it will be clear what is happening here. First of all I add a background, which will be static. First element in it is sky. Scale it down and position about here. Second one is sun. Scale it down, put it here. Set order and layer option for the sun to 1, so it will be rendered in front of the sky, which has this value equals to 0. Next object is a grass. Position it about here. Set order and layer to 10, so it will be rendered in front of all of other game objects in our scene. Bring it up a bit. OK. We have only one grass game object at the moment. Let's duplicate it pressing Ctrl plus D keys. Bring it here and snap it to the first grass game object holding V key. Now they look like one piece. The reason we need two of them is that they will be changing their position as our character moves left and right. OK. Here is a character. Put it about here, scale it down a bit, set order and layer to 9, so it's rendered behind the grass and in front of other game objects. Character is going to move, so here is the script, which will help us to move it, named character movement. It's pretty simple. Here we have character move speed variable, and direction x variable. In start method we set move speed to 5 and in update method we read values if left or right arrow button is pressed, multiply those values by move speed and time delta time and pass the result to direction x variable. Depending on that our character goes to the left or to the right. That's the script. Drag and drop this script to character. Hit play and now our character can walk if I press left or right arrow key. Now let's make main camera follow the character. We can just make the camera to be a child of a character, but I prefer to use a simple script for that. Here it is. This script takes character's position and set camera's position in X axis according to it. Y and Z coordinates of camera stay the same. Serialize field attribute allows us to assign character's position variable in inspector. So drag and drop this script to main camera, select main camera and drag and drop character game object into character's position slot of the script component. Let's hit play and see how it works. Character moves and camera follows him left and right. But sky and sun don't. To fix this select sky and sun and make them to be children of main camera. Like that. Hit play. Now sky and sun follow the player as well. Ok. Everything looks fine until our character reaches the edge of the grass. It would be great if this grass game objects follow our character somehow. So if our character when moving right reaches the middle of this grass game object, the second grass should jump over here creating an effect of infinite ground. And the same should happen when character goes left. Parallax background movement script will help us to make it happen. This script is pretty simple as well. Important to note that all of our backgrounds positions will depend on camera's position. So when one particular element of a background will be out of camera view on one side, then it will appear at the other side of the camera. We will see it in action soon. As well as character, background has move speed variable and direction variable. Also here is an offset variable, which will help us to determine a distance between camera's position and the position when a background element should be relocated. It is 13 by default. Serialize field attributes allows us to set those values in inspector. So in update method, as we can see, our background element is moved depending on which arrow key is pressed, just like our character. The difference will be in move speed. Character moves with one speed, but background moves with another. In fact, this is how parallax effect works. All the secret is in different move speed. If statement here makes background element jump from one side of the screen to another when it's needed depending on offset. Let's see what this offset means. It's really simple. Here is our first grass and here is the second one. First grass has x position value equals to 0 as we set it. The second grass takes that value equals to negative 34.71 when we snapped it to the first grass. This is the offset between those centers. So when our character Moving to the right, for example, along with the camera which follows him, reaches the center of this grass, then the second grass 
jumps over here, using that offset, creating an effect of infinite grass field. Same happens when character moves to the left. So let's make it happen. Select grass game objects and add script component to them, which is parallax background movement. While they are selected, drag and drop main camera into main camera position of the script component. All we need to do now is to adjust that offset. As we figured it out recently, this offset equals to 34.71. We need absolute value of it only, so I copy it, select both of the grass game objects and paste this value into offset slot. Hit play and test it. Works fine. Now let's add more backgrounds and create that parallax effect. First let's add mountains. Here is one. Scale it down, position about here, set order and layer so it appears behind the character and in front of sky and sun. Add second one and third one. We can hit play and see how it works. No parallax effect yet. So select all of the mountains and add parallax script to them. There we go. Don't forget to drag and drop main camera into camera slot. Now let's adjust the offset. It will be different than in case with grass. In fact, this offset will have quite individual value, depending on object size, its initial position and depending on when exactly you want to relocate your game object. So my case will differ from yours and you have to play with those values to achieve a result you want. In my case, this offset will be about 13 I guess. So, select all of the mountains and set offset to them. 13 is ok I hope. Well, mountains jump, but not pretty evenly. So, I tweak those positions and try again. Nope. Let's set offset to higher value. About there. Place them closer. Ok. Now looks good for me. But no parallax effect still. As I said, parallax effect depends on speed, so let's change move speed for mountains to 2. Grass has this value set to 0 as we remember. Hit play. Yes. Now we have parallax effect between grass and mountains. Cool. Now let's enrich our scene and add another one background layer with trees. First one, second one and third one. Scale them down, bring them here, set ordinal layer to 7 so they are rendered in front of the mountains. Scale down. Ok, looks good. Add parallax script to them. Drag and drop main camera into camera's position slot. And now let's play with offset again. Hit play. Not good. Trees jump not evenly. Let's try to relocate them a bit. Better, but not too much. I think offset should be about 11. Let's try. Pretty good. I think this tree can be moved a bit to the left and everything will work just fine. Yes, I like it. Now let's set move speed for trees. Mountains have this value set to 2, so I think 1 for trees will be fine. Very nice. Playing with move speed, you can tune this effect the way you want it. Also, you can add as much layers as you wish and bring more depth to your scene. Hope you like this tutorial, thank you for watching and see you next time.